All right, here we are with the Gintama manga for the first time. I've never read a chapter of Gintama before. I've watched so much of the anime, and uh, I was considering, like I talked about in the last episode of the semifinal, considering doing this on my own time, but I've reacted to the whole thing. We may as well do reactions here, too. I can't show any of it, so I'm just going to tell you where I am, and you can follow along, pull the manga up on your own if you want to do that. If you're interested here, maybe some of you have never actually read the manga before that the semifinal skips, but I'm going to check it out, see what they skipped. I heard that it's a, a significant amount and it's kind of important, so we're going to get into it and see. So it should be interesting, and then of course it's on to the finals. So I talked about it a little bit already in the last reaction about what I, I've seen in the manga so far, and that I am going to be starting at the end of 688. That's where we've got, like, a, the first big change here after little old Kagura comes out of the shower right after that. So uh, here we are. I'm just going to just gonna read it, see what happens. So we're go, going over to Katsura, or Zrump. So, he did come? No, I don't mind. If everything you've said is true, I won't even have to go anywhere. He should come to me. So that's the whole lot of it. My lord, emergency. I know. The people of this country want to play around with me, Prime Minister Donald Zrump, again, yes? Go meet them with full force. But don't forget, they are citizens as well. Do not kill them. Yes, sir. Understand? Full force. Send all available hands out there. Yes, sir. So he leaves. Takasugi's hiding behind the door. Quite the popular figure you are. You might actually be more hated now than in your days as a Joey Patriot. But that's still no match for all the in infamy you've built up. So what evil scheme are you planning this time? Then he holds out his sword at Katsura. With the old country gone, are you trying to destroy the new country, perhaps? So that is the end of that chapter. That was the very end of it. So now I want to see what goes on in 689. Probably a decent amount of this that I can just scroll past. Because, yeah, this was the adapted parts. Kagura comes out old. She comes out as a lolly. Shinpachi's got to go to jail because that's not cool. Um, so, th so that all happens. Then we cut back over to Zrump and Takasugi. We did not see this in the anime. Quite surprising. I didn't think you still had forces under your control. I was certain you'd cut off all your old ties and were acting alone now. Heh, <laughs> do I look like someone who has that many friends? At the very least, I don't have a head for hanging out with a useless bunch like that. Also, I don't need forces like that to kill you. This single blade should be enough, Zura. Or should I say, Prime Minister? I see. So you took advantage of the commotion they made and to sneak in here, did you? Your cunning hasn't dulled in the least, I see. But Takasugi... This new country isn't one weak enough to fall so easily. And Elizabeth is on the chandelier and she dropped it on Takasugi. He dodged out of the way. All right. Elizabeth has got her phone out recording. <laughs> what are you getting into such a panic about? It's just a photo. Ah, I see. Prime Minister Zarump getting targeted for assassination again today. Posting that on Instagram or something? Twitter? Now that's, okay, that's an Instagrammable photo if I ever saw one. Well done, Elizabeth. Takasugi, what'll shape the future in this day and age is not scraps of wood like that. It's Twitter. The top of this country can broadcast news himself and share it with the masses. Like your food? Just ate some soba today. I want to make this country long and chewy like soba. <laughs> Zarump getting targeted for assassination again today. You know, as much as I, I love how the voice actors really bring out a lot of the comedy in the anime, the music, the comedic timing, I'm sure there's also something to be said for the manga and just the pure dry comedic timing of just reading it like something like that something like i want to make it long and chewy just casually reading that line then moving on there's there's a little bit of humor to be had with the manga there too so yeah that way people will gain interest in politics and join in the spirit of building the country just ate some soba today uh, i want to make this country into something smooth and slippery like soba that's the sort of thing you have to do if you want to serve the country's top position. Getting targeted for assassination again. I haven't really posted anything besides stuff that has to do with Soba and assassinations, though. Oh, this day was different. This is just Soba and assassination put into the same set? Clearly people are targeting you using information from Twitter. <laughs> just had Soba with poison in it. Enjoying some Jiro style. It isn't half bad. Yes, I know that. That's why for the next one I made the sudden change to ramen. It looks like the effect was pretty much the same. Takasugi, if you're going to play the straight man, then you need to raise your voice a bit more. There's no one here right now to play the straight man but you, so please shape up. What is a straight man? <laughs> Are you playing the, the idiot now? 
Okay, got it. Next, you'll be the idiot and I'll be the straight man. Being open about political affairs is fine, but do the people know how it was you came to be a central figure of this country? Why don't you tweet that out while you're at it? About how you, too, did all, did all you did for just one man. I felt everywhere I've been in this country, your gaze. You know, don't you, about them, the enemy, and about me, about everything? Takasugi, I know you chose the path of closing your eyes to everything in order to save Master. I chose the path of opening my eyes and seeing everything. I want to save that man. In that way, I'm the same as you. But that man is not the only thing reflected in my eyes. This country and its people, and all of you, all of the things that man left behind, I want to protect. And if that man becomes something that threatens those things, then I think that destroying Sensei to protect everything is what saving Sensei would mean. Takasugi, I am going to destroy Sensei along with that whole religion. With that thing having lost its heart, now is the only time that can be done. I won't ask you to lend me your help, but please stand aside. You cannot save that along with everything else. Whether that is Sensei or not, we cannot go back to those days anymore. That's the kind of being that man has become. That's the kind of beings we've become. You know, it's interesting that Katsura kind of handled it the best out of the three in accepting it and moving on. He really did it better than the other two. It seems it was worth it dragging myself to a place like this. Zura, knowing you, I thought you'd say something like that and there's an explosion. Ooh, it looks like Takasugi stabbed Katsura, but probably not. It's probably an angle thing. Now I can use you without reserve. Yeah, he got him under the arm. For me, it's Sensei. For you, it's the thing Sensei left behind and Katsura kicks him. What is it for him? We're totally disconnected as always. Elizabeth gives Katsura a sword. But after clashing and reaching the answer at the end, Sensei will, we will, laugh like we did in those old days. There's Gintoki. Okay, there's Kagura going after him. We saw that. We saw that part in the anime. All right, so that's the end of that chapter. Okay. So the Katsura Takasugi clash is what was cut out so far. So we're moving on to chapter 690. I think I'm supposed to go to around like 698. I don't know if it ends or where I'm supposed to stop is where the semifinal ends or if there's something else past that. But I believe 698 is where I'm supposed to go to. So we'll see what happens. So we got the parts where Kagura and Shinpachi are going after Gintoki and the terminal exploded. So that's all still here. That was all adapted. And then it shows the part where Mr. Zarump was injured. And we say that he died. That was shown. But uh, we didn't get the Takasugi part. So it's it's cool to get that. Um, there's, a, there's a little bit here. There's a little bit extra. Because it shows Katsura's dead body in the middle of everything. And Elizabeth too. But obviously they're not dead. I got this security camera image through some illegal channels. It was all recorded, clear as day. It's almost like he was trying to show off the crime he'd done. And there's Takasugi, he's on a rooftop, with Gin. Hey, you're late. Done giving your farewell greetings to your comrades? Look, this might be the last time you'll get to see a festival in Edo as well. Takasugi, what the hell did you do? What is this supposed to be? The religion's next target is Earth Zeltana. In order to revive Utsuro's body, which they have in their possession, and to create immortality, they need either the heart you have or a massive amount of Earth Seltana. I expect they're quite surprised at what's happened about now. Especially given that the terminal they were targeting fell victim to some random terrorist. This scene is important. That's important. <laughs> I mean, you can put the pieces together in the anime, but this is much, this is much more clear. Yeah. So, of course, that was some random terrorist. On top of that, the country that protects that terminal just lost, just lost its center and has been sent into a state of chaos. And together, their impatience with this good opportunity I created for them, then even those sham gods gazing down at the earth from the heavens will have to descend. So for that, you used Edo as bait? That's an important scene, yeah. Gintoki, we are trying to save a being that could destroy the world. Do you still not understand what that means? But as always, they got different methods, so there's a little bit of a clash. They're never gonna see eye to eye get it? You bastard. Oh shit, we got some dudes. Gintoki kicked a dude. It's the Naraku. Takasugi stabs him in the gut, or cuts him a little bit. Oh, he stabbed Utsuro's heart. It seems like you aren't fit to carry that. And now he took it. I'll put this to good use. Takasugi! I can't have you hogging all the glory. 
blowing up the terminal and cutting down a country's prime minister. Hey, there he is. That fake out didn't last very long. Yeah, this was not in the anime. What the hell? I mean, is this not going to be covered in the movie? Is this just cut entirely? This seems important. I don't know how they're going to handle it in the movie, but this is important. It's Katsura, and he just got the heart. Do you really think that just one terrorist could do something like that, Gentoki? The only ones that could possibly do that is either the pr Prime Minister or this Joey Patriot, Katsura Kotaro. All right, moving on to 691. Um, is this where we're going to see... Kondo? Not yet. No, not yet. So, I guess we'll read this. Our target is the Edo Terminal. Say Ray Gate launch preparations. Yeah, we saw that. Carrying out the plan. I never would have imagined there was someone besides us targeting Earth Seltana. They're most likely nothing warranting any real concern. The new government installed in Edo rid itself of old traditions. They're pushing reforms and there are forces opposed to them, I've heard. This is nothing but them cannibalizing each other. So unaware that their own country is being targeted by outsiders, they're nonchalantly fighting amongst each other, are they? Foolish. But we cannot use ma ma we cannot not make use of this. If we take advantage of this confusion, we should be able to accomplish our goal without much effort. That country already fell to ruin in the war two years ago. Isn't it ironic by performing the last rites to a country of the dead, what we will obtain is immortality? We are now declaring martial law in Edo. Along with guiding citizens to shelter, we are creating a line of defense around the terminal. Please do not allow anyone not part of the infiltration unit to enter. In any situation, the first priority should always be the people's safety. I hope you'll all lend me your strength in order to protect the people and the country. Princess Soyo! About the situation with Katsura. Not right now. I cannot allow myself to be overcome with sadness at the moment. No matter how fast we try, I'm not sure we can find a replacement for that man's post. Well, you're in luck. He's not dead. So for now, please just let me face forward. Then all the more reason for you to listen to me. Katsura-san's corpse disappeared? I had heard that his death was confirmed, but after that, intel cuts off. We don't even know where his corpse is now. Despite information getting obfuscated and all this confusion, what is un in that is in our inarguably strange. Nonetheless, via some transmission, that death was broadcast all over the country in no time. So then, that's not all that strange. The explosion at the terminal as well. It seems that before the explosion occurred, something unusual was happening over there. Due to some usual discovery, emergency procedures were underway inside the terminal facility. In other words, the people were cleared out before the explosion occurred. And it was five kilometers around the terminal. It was quite a large-scale evacuation. Then when that explosion happened, we don't know the full picture of the damage yet, but if that's all true, it may be only the terminal itself that was harmed. That's, a, that's significant, definitely. Then what was the point of the terrorism? Who in the world? Takasugi Shinsuke. This fiendish act was done by a radical Joey Patriot that maneuvered in secret in order to overthrow the government. Is what it was meant to look like, but that's a bit of a stretch. No matter how crazy that guy is, there's no way he's got the clout to mobilize this many people. The only person that could do something like that is someone on the level of the Prime Minister himself. You don't mean there's an accomplice? Someone who has the power to destroy the terminal and assassinate Katsura-san? You guys didn't forget, right? The fact that in this country there's still a Joey Patriot, even more dangerous than Takasugi. This is, yeah, like this... I had no idea about this from watching the anime, you know? Katsura's involvement? I did... They've got to touch on it in the movie, right? You can't not include this. This is, this seems very important. Or that there's a bastard out there that was able to do all, what all the other Joey Patriots couldn't. Take the country. Yeah, that man. My boy, Katsura Kotaro, is here. This is very significant. I had, I had no idea about this from the anime. Gintoki, you need to take good care of important things and keep them deep in your pocket. There's a possibility of someone launching a surprise attack to steal it away from you at any given moment. Isn't that right, Takasugi? So that being said, this heart will not go to either of you coarse buffoons, but to me... And then he dropped it. <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> so now uh, they're going after it. The one that tricked me was you, damn it! Uh, you're the one that did that terror attack? You guys were accomplices? I never would have fucking thought. Katsura... W <laughs> I knew he wasn't dead, but I didn't think he was behind this. Don't go saying things that would hurt people's reputation like that. Who the hell would work with that villain? 
We just used each other because we had the common goal of crushing that religion. And then Katsura just crashed into a building. You're the villain. What kind of prime minister does that? Not only did you deceive your people, you also destroyed an important facility. But he protected the lives. He evacuated the people. Nothing's changed about it. Nothing's changed at all from your terrorist days, has it? Oh shit. Stopped him from getting it. I don't remember ever becoming any prime minister. And while we're at it, I don't remember being a terrorist either. Katsura wasn't the prime minister. That was Donald Zrump. Both now and in the old days, I've been simply a disciple of Yoshida Shoyo. Taking out some Naraku. It's just, as the, it's just that as Sensei's disciple and as a comrade to all of you, I did some rather shameful things. You couldn't have cut out some of the fucking mannequin Colonel Sanders conveyor belt comedy to make room for this. I mean, I guess they were making that was still in the anime proper. They were still making it. They had that that ending point they wanted to get to, but it would have been better if they had had a, a bigger view of the the whole picture if they had had all this to go on. I guess it, it worked out the way that it did, you know. They ended the anime where they did. Then all this came out and they could only fit so much, so. Oh well, but whatever. I did some rather shameful things. They're both going through for the heart. Takasugi gets it. Is that right? Then you, then you know what it is you two can do now, right? Bystanders have all been cleared out and the bait has been laid for the enemy. All the preparations for war are set, so all that's left is for you to stand back and watch with a dumb look on your faces. And they grabbed him. Why don't you go that? Why don't you go do that? And they slammed him down. Does he still have the heart? He planned on dying from the beginning. Reforms were needed in order to restore the country that was devastated in the war. But if one expects to get rid of the old and begin the new, one cannot escape opposition. By standing at the center of it, he could take the brunt of the discord that arose from the reforms. And while letting every sort of hatred pour down on him, he enforced reforms and created the foundation for a new country. And his final task was to exit the stage via assassination. If he, the symbol of reforms, disappeared, the hatred born from them will also be purified. His goal was to allow the next generation that allowed him to carry out this purification ceremony to take over the new government. Holy shit, <laughs> Katsura with the long game, my man, <laughs> wow, that's some Lelouch shit, good for him. <laughs> Though actually pulling off that assassination has been our job. Looks like the situation changed. I sure didn't expect him to have that flashy exit with Takasugi and setting up that huge terror act. Okita-san, then you all are... We were trying to assassinate Katsura in order to protect him from real assassination. <laughs> Rather than trying to crack down on opposition forces, we integrated into them and became their core. That way we knew about and could control their movements. The dissolving of the Shinsengumi was also done to corroborate that. That's cool. In order to build the stepping stone for a new country, you need the resolve to make yourself into that stepping stone. So alongside me, alongside the era, will you die for the cause? A country where we can hold heads high when we talk to the next generation about it? What do you say we make a country like that? And we crawled onto the top of that pile of rubble. And on top of it, we built a cruddy country. Then somehow or other, it got built up this far. But it seems. Before we can entrust it to you all, there's still one last thing we gotta do. There's the heart. Katsura's got it. Gintoki, how have you found Edo? Did you find the answer of how to use this thing? Even if it means I'll destroy what you saw in Edo, do you have the resolve to save Utsuro? Or perhaps the resolve to cut Utsuro down? I'm just like the both of you. In these two years, I searched for a means of saving Sensei in my own way. But I can't say it went all that well. Even if we have the same feelings at heart, the actions we've taken couldn't be more scattered. Have we ever not been totally scattered? Zura, if you want to cut down Utsuro, then I'm going to save him. But if Takasugi over there saves Utsuro, then I'm going to chop Utsuro in half. <laughs> I'll choose whatever choice you guys didn't choose. Yeah, but they won't necessarily have the same choice either, so like, how do you... What do you do? We won't let any single possibility slip by. It's because we're so scattered that we can explore every single path. Okay. Whatever path you both chose, I'm sure neither one is wrong, so I'm able to set out on any path. 
I'll go pure white. All right, then let's make a bet. And he tosses Gintoki the heart. It is a it is an interesting, unique scenario. Like I've said, uh, it's interesting that the anime is can it, that it continued so far after the battle with Utsuro, where you would expect it to end. And so now this complicated matter of his revival and saving him or taking him down, and we'll see. I don't know how that's gonna go. Let's make a bet on that and trust in finding a path that saves both Sensei and the world. I was not expecting him to really be saved. Um, I expected it to not work out, but now I'm reconsidering in how that's going to go in the movie. We'll see. So we're moving on to 692. Thinking about it now, that's how it's always been, hasn't it, Gintoki? Because you've always been a pure white that no one can die with their own colors. You've been able to turn any color. Sometimes in order to protect your comrades, you'll cut down your master. And sometimes in order to honor your master's will, you'll cut down your comrades. All of our scattered paths led us here. Willing to do what's necessary in those moments. He doesn't have to follow by like one strict things. He's, a, he's able to adapt. The thing that connected us together despite being so scattered, both now and back in the old days, was your pure white. So what do you say we bet on that white? Let's believe that we'll find a path to save Sensei, this country, everything, and go. As scattered as ever. And there they go, the three of them. Together, but scattered. Just like back then. It seems that for Katsura, this country wasn't enough to leave for the next generation. What with this country having a being that had to be defeated, or the world could be destroyed, as well as a being that had to be saved. So then, Ginsan is with him too then? Dunno, sure looks like they left us out of the main event though. Not exactly a fairy tale story, pretending to be villains together in order to create a new country. At this point, we're not staying behind to be the ones that the country's entrusted to either. You there, what do you think you're doing? This is an evacuation zone. Vacate the area immediately. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that, officer. Gotta go take me some refuge. Not that way, the other way. Sure, just gotta go get this Rakugo CD I like that I forgot at my house. You think we're kidding around here? And then bam bam, that was in the anime, so yeah, we basically saw this. There's Yamazaki with Colonel Sanders. There comes uh, Hijikata. The rest of the Shinsengumi coming to save the day. Get this little flashback. That was at the start of episode two of the semifinal. So I assume we'll go into the condo stuff from there. But yeah, everything, shit, there's a lot. Oh my God, so many pages in a row of explosions. Everything's blowing up. Yeah, there they are. There's everybody. Cool. So now we'll move on to 693. And it's called, oh ho, oh ho. So that's, that's where we go with uh, the gorilla shit. So I probably am not missing anything by skimming that. <laughs> I would imagine. Maybe small little details. We're seeing a little bit more of the Shinsengumi keeping the peace down on Earth. But the condo stuff itself, it probably covered all of that, it looks like. They're, they're tossing them in the air. Yeah, 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 all that good shit. Now we're moving on to 694. The misunderstandings. The absurdity. He's trying to hug him. <laughs> There's a weird fight. There's so many bananas everywhere. There are the ships. Okay, now we're back down on Earth. After all that nonsense. The phantasmal ship that cannot be detected by the naked eye nor radar, Kuyo, and the silent weapon it is equipped with, the Seirei Gate. It's with that that they stole Altana from all those planets. Seirei Gate? To put it simply, it is a vacuum with great sucking power. Nice. Yet it makes very little sound. It's a gigantic device invented by the religion in order to collect planets Altana from the outside. It's cool to get more detail as to what it is exactly since we didn't get that in the anime. What's most fearsome is how secretive it's able to be. The Seirei Gate can carry out its task from a height of 10,000 meters with barely any detection. In other words, the acts of terrorism and re the religion has been enacting all over are no more than a diversion. They draw all the attention onto the surface, while actually, an invisible ship far off in the sky is gathering up the planet's energy while the populace is none the wiser. Yeah, that would have been nice to know. That would have given a lot more weight to taking it down. 
But only on that day, at only that moment when the religion targets a planet, once the decision is made here, it may be possible for us to invite those false gods that captured him, and perhaps even he himself, to the surface as well. So then we got BOOM! Even if you can't see it, you can bet that they are right here. They are right up there. And there's all the tiny little ships. They're using smaller ships as shields. So then we cut back over to Kondo and the gorillas, which is stuff that we did see. They could have cut out a lot of the Kondo comedy too, but I guess they just decided to vote to devote episode two entirely to him. That's their decision, so. It looks like they predicted our plan. We set up anti-aircraft weapons all around the terminal, but they formed walls of ships in front of the Kuyo to act as a shield and blocked our fire. In other words, above them is wide open. So that's where you got the lasers raining down on top of the ship. And we're moving on to 695. Kondo is still getting swung around by the gorillas. Goddamn, the, the lasers are raining down and hitting the ship. A fleet can approach from above. Those are, and there we have him, Sakamoto Tatsuma. But then we get to Gintoki and Katsura's reaction. Sakamoto, what are you doing there? No way, Shijaku, he's here too. My apologies, Katsura. I know encouraging countries that hold a grudge against the religion to sink the Kuyo was your plan, but not only did no country show any signs of acting, but as you can see, I got caught by these odd people. If you're going to ask for help before asking other countries or anything of that sort, you say, hey, we're friends, right? So lend me some money, won't ya? Every last, shoot every last bullet you got into that ship. No need to worry about costs here. We'll pay the bill no matter how much you rack up. My friend here will pay us back. There you go, just saying whatever you please. But if this cleans up the monsters left over from that war, then I'll lend you any amount of money, my earth friend. So there you have it, idiot trio. I can't let you guys do something so interesting all by yourselves. I can't let you fight by yourselves. Only a master's disciples can wipe his ass for him. In that case, then the only one that can wipe the asses of some friends is another friend, like me. Tatsuma, you... Shoot them down! Reduce every last one of those meddlesome flies to ashes! Sakamoto, that huge thing is covering the whole ship in a barrier. No matter how many pea shooters you fire at it, it won't take it down. Cease fire! Surround the enemy mothership to cut off its movement. What is this? What are they doing now? Hey, look over there. Ten minutes earlier. Hurry, we got to get Earth on the We gotta get to Earth on the double. The fate of Edo's in our hands. Captain, there's a distress beacon. Distress? Ah, there's a communication. It's Kondo. Thank goodness I got through. Sorry, please save us. This is the Kyrin Maru. Who are you? Another Rilla? Oh-ho! He started going, oh-ho, all of a sudden. He's trying to tell us something. His language is too primitive. Even the automatic translation functions won't work. Use the translation function for lower life forms. Please help us. We're gonna save you guys. The ship we're on is broken, and at this rate it's going to crash land on Earth. My ship is broken, and it's in the process of crashing to Earth, but I've still got an ace up my sleeve. Isn't there any way you can save us from this ship? I'm going to find a way to ram this ship into my enemy and sink them. I totally understand how big a favor this is to be asking, but please, is there any way you could safely land us on Earth? I totally understand that we have the same enemy. Let me use this life of mine as a way to protect the Earth. Madness! That banana ship! Did you not notice it while you were chasing flies around? I guess you guys are so well known that you've got enemies all over the universe. No, I said you'd, I need you to save me! Take this! Final Gorilla Crash! Alright, and there it is. There's the crash that we saw. Big boom on the terminal. He did it. He actually went and did it. And then they have the little moment about uh, him not being the dad, and they give him the uniform. And now we're back over to Sakamoto. Your path is clear. Leave the skies to us. You take care of things there, three idiots. Two years ago, more than to save the world, what I was risking my life in battle for was to take those days back again. But even after the war ended, those days didn't come back to Edo. That's enough reason for me to fight. If you say your battle still ain't over, if you guys say you still can't go back yet, then my battle ain't over either. And then Ka Kondo gets reunited with the Shinsengumi. It sucks that the part they cut out so far, the most important part, was the Katsura stuff, because he's my favorite character, so it sucks that they cut that. And it's so important, it's so good, but... Ah, uh, it's a shame. I'm glad I read it here. So we're moving on to 696. That's where the episode basically stopped. There was the Madao stuff a little bit. 
Next couple chapters are going to be new. Symbol of our country's culture, the terminal, has been struck by a gigantic ship, and now a mysterious pair of fleets are doing battle in the skies of Edo. What in the world is happening in Edo right now? Shortly, so this is the uh, Hana no Ana report, and here comes Madao, <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend! All right. So he's trying to tie his shoe. Oh, there's a little bit extra here. Um, <laughs> he's punching the ground. He's saying that I want to fight. He broke his sword. <laughs> Hold on a second. Have you always had that upturned chin, Madao? No way. Madao is the hero here to lend us his strength. Okay, yeah, but um, he uh, it was made of styrofoam, apparently. So, oops, that was a big, big ruse. Citizens, what are you do? We can't let you get in Madao's way. He's the only one that can save Edo. We'll hold these guys back. Go, Madao. I'm sorry, people of Edo. It's just like you said. I can't give up at a time like this. So I'm, I'm actually, let me go back a little bit. I need to see what's, because it seems like that's him. But then there's like another one who's a fake. Or was that just him making his chin like that? Doesn't really matter. Small detail. But he's trying to tie his shoes, and uh, there's the thing. So that's where that's where that left off. So we're gonna pick up right there. Infiltration unit enter the terminal at once and seize it. The ship unit will expand around the perimeter of the terminal and remove all those that approach. The Kuyo has fallen, but our plan remains in place. We will capture the terminal directly and procuring the Altana. And once we offer that power to our god, he will be restored in his complete form. It is at that moment that our deepest wish, immortality, will belong to all living creatures in the universe. Hey, three idiots. That god or whatever has fallen to earth. Right now, you guys should be able to reach it. So get going. I don't know if you'll find... I don't know if what you'll find there is a god that ought to be destroyed, or a master you'll want to save. But the one thing I am sure of is whatever path you take, we've got friends here. No matter what you lose, or what you gain. That's something that ain't gonna change. Don't go forgetting that. This ain't just your fight, it's our fight. Dang. Bringing that god down to earth was good, but thanks to that, there's a whole ton of these annoying believers swarming around here. I don't totally get what's going on, but we just gotta beat those guys and get into the terminal, right? And that Yorozuya guy's headed there too. Oh ho! Hijikata-san, we're in luck. It seems like he's still got some of his human mental faculties left. These orders are even more crude than usual, but I guess that's how the Shinsengumi's gotta be. Yep, this is what we saw too. Okita throwing the grenade and they're doing their little bit of fighting. Alright, here we go. Now we're cutting over to... The newsroom. This is an image from a security camera. The form of Ronin fighting with the army in black clothes. Just who in the world could they be? With Madao deceased, are they perhaps new saviors that will carry on his will? No. And then here's Madao. I'm not dead! He's running away. How could you cut off the relay like that? We're still alive. We're currently under attack from the mysterious group that came out of the ship. Oh, I see. Then it sounds like you'll be dying pretty soon, huh? Thank you so much for your reporting. Don't cut me off. Do you, wanna, uh, do you want us to die that badly? I have the hero, Madao, here with me. I'm sure he'll easily get us out of this pinch. How the hell long are you going to keep following me? With you around, it's so much harder for me to get away. Uh, <laughs> We come this far, so we're going to go with you. We need to capture the hero's bravery on camera. Uh, that might be a problem. With you guys here, I uh, can't fight all out. You guys could get caught up in the fight. Once I get into go mode, I become a mindless killing machine. If you're next to me, you'll die for sure. And I definitely won't be able to help you. In fact, you might even be safer next to the enemy. <laughs> Pretty smooth. I can't. If I go out, all out, I'll hurt you, so you better leave so I can do it. What kind of hero are you exactly? Anyhow, I'm not going to stop till every last one of them is on the ground, so you better hurry and get out of... Oh, damn it, from the front, too? Madao-san! Madao-san jumped, and... Uh, he bowed his head. I'm sorry. <laughs> huh? Are you, uh, begging? And then they all blew up. A huge explosion. The moment Madao-san shot onto the ground to beg for his life, the enemy suddenly exploded. What in the world? I'm sorry I acted all high and mighty like I was a hero. Please forgive me. And then he just bent all the way over backwards and they exploded again. Is he going to get credit for that? <laughs> oh my, another explosion. Every time Madao-san apologizes, the enemies explode like powder kegs. What in the world is going on here? Is this the power of Madao the hero? What the hell? Madao-san? Just... 
just how did you do what you just did? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, that may look like begging for my life at first glance, but it's a technique where I sent the burning flames of my mouth ulcers through the ground and explode at the feet of my enemies. Mouth ulcers can do something that terrifying? It honestly looked like you were just apologizing. That wasn't me saying I was sorry, that was an incantation. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's enemies all over the place around here. Hey, who do you think you're who do you think you're using as a shield? Oh come on, you were totally just blurting out apologies. Yeah, stay away! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please don't, and then they exploded too. I used Amsari too. Uh no, I think that was my Amsari. My mouth ulcers must have spread to you through a cough or a sneeze or something, so now they're in your mouth too. Could you please not say super gross stuff like that? I think I'm okay without being able to do it to do Amsari then. I'm sorry, I'm sorry! I've really awakened. <laughs> this is amazing. So this is what a hero can do. Ah, uh, it's it's a shame that they cut this out. I, I guess I guess they cut it. It's not going to be in the movie. I'm sorry I doubted you. I thought that despite everyone calling you a hero, you maybe w weren't really anything that impressive. But you really are. No, you were right the first time. I didn't do anything great in that war. The ones that pulled off the really incredible stuff didn't even think about trying to get any personal glory and just started on their own person wars right after. I claimed all their achievements for myself. I'm total fraud of a hero. But even after getting so pampered over being a hero with all these great women surrounding me, getting all the booze I could drink and gorging myself on food, I wasn't enjoying myself, even a little more than I had been before. I really don't know why. All I'd lost was just one drinking buddy. That's why I came here. Even though I couldn't do anything useful, even if I threw away the title of hero, I wanted to drink cheap sake with that guy again. Maybe the reason I got a power like this is because those feelings reached the heavens. But since I lied, I gotta make sure I say this to you. I'm sorry. Then he blew up. Old man, stop getting in my way. You made me miss my shot. What do you mean? There's enemies all over the place. Just shoot wherever and you'll hit somebody. Did I hit a human with somebody down there? Ah, then should I? Should I say it just in case? I'm sorry. So it was Hata and G. They were the ones firing. Okay. Moving on to 697. Shinpachi and Kagura are running. I lied. Do you know why I started the Yorozuya in the first place? To make a long story short, it's because I had nothing to do. I didn't feel like doing anything, so I decided to do whatever. Pretty messed up, right? Like I said, we decided that each one of us have things we want, things we have to do. So it's time to take down this messed up signboard. I found something I need to do myself. Shinpachi, the ball's in your court. What about you? Is there anything you want to do? Is this the scene that we saw? Basically. Yeah, where Kagura kind of comfort him there. And then Otose opened up. Yep, this is that scene. Okay, cool. Skipping past that, going back over to Hana no Ana. Madao-san? Something terrible has happened. Studio reporter Kusano-san. Ah, Hana no Ana, we have a 10 minute cooking segment happening at the moment. Could you wait just a little bit? You're cooking now? The hero Madao has been caught in an explosion and is injured. It seems the one who defeated the enemies was not Madao. Those are... People of Edo, be at ease. There is no longer anything to fear. Everything is under control because... I am here. And they look all suave, but that's not <laughs> accurate. There's been an issue with the video signal. Please wait and look at these rice balls molded by Kusano Ana for a short time. What's going on? Are you capturing my gallant figure? Hey, I think something odd's going on. We're being mosaicked? Hey, that's not what this is. They censored their head penises. Why the hell are you treating people's heads like something obscene? That's right, you should be putting a mosaic on the prince's entire body. That's not what I meant. Uh, I knew we shouldn't have come help these, er these earthlings. So then the ship fires at them and they fall off the building. Help me! Hata, how is the situation over there? That's a ferocious war cry I hear. That's my little brother. Seems I was right to leave the command to you. Knowing how much you love the Earth, I knew I could count on you. That planet still has not fully recovered from the last war. And as the ones who caused that war, it's our duty to protect it this time around. There are heroes that protected the Earth in that war down there too. And yes, I'm sure they will lend you their strength. Oh, I skipped a panel. Your dear friend Hasegawa is among them. I'm sure they will lend you their strength. He's hanging on to Hata's feet. You idiot prince, b you bastard! 
Hasagawa, and then I'm sure the world will be kept safe. Prince, try to endure it for a little bit. I'll kick him off. And he's just kicking the prince. You're kicking me off along with him? You know, this ship's been moving pretty strangely for a while now. Hey, there's smoke coming out of it. No way, is this? Yes, and with that, let me give you one piece of advice. We are getting repeated reports of a ship of unknown affiliation. Lurking in this battlefield, there is someone not an ally, not an enemy. Is that... Is that little, little... I was gonna say little baby Utsuro, but I don't think so. Even if he got out of the tank, he didn't have hair that long. Is that Kamui? Because can, can he manipulate his size now too? The same way Kagura did? Because it's not Kagura. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Do be careful. Another helping, please. And then we cut immediately over to Kagura, which makes me think it's Kamui. Right, right. That's why I made eight helpings from the outset. What side dishes are there? Pickled daikon is good, right? Looks like you do not even need me to say anything. Otose-san, we... Honestly, the passage of time is a scary thing, isn't it? Those brats that Gintoki brought here to eat just a little while ago are all grown up now. Michiko-san, is supper ready yet? There's supper in your mouth right now. I think she may have grown up a little too much. Were you not satisfied with just being a pedophile? Are you trying to add being into older women now too? Do not go encroaching on my territory. Oh, Gengai's here. Your territory is between two telephone poles you peed on, ain't it, old bat? Yeah, and your territory's a coffin. Why don't you head back there? You're one to talk, old granny. Which granny are you talking to, damn it? All of a sudden, there's nothing but grannies here. Oh, quit it. At a time like this, you totally wrecked all the tension. And then they all laugh. Isn't it strange? All of you and me are a thread connected by that man. That man had nothing to do anymore. I just picked up some, like, some fluke, and then he just kept connecting them. Yeah, we saw that in the anime. Our wish to be connected with Ginsan and everyone. He really kept granting our wish again and again, didn't he? But despite all that, he never told anyone what his most deeply desired wish was, and left. I'm not trying to say to keep those threads connected, or even that we need to keep granting people's wishes. But now it is our turn. This time it's our turn to grant Ginchan's wish. For Sakata Gintoki, we'll become the Yorozuya once again. So this is where they... They get their old... Their old outfits, the girls arrive, and everybody's here. Cool, cool. Get Omaru. Awesome group shot. So then we're going to move on to 698, which I think should be the last one. How many chapters are there? 704. Okay. Well, we're going to read this one. Nice. Uh, yeah, there's Kamui in this little color page. I guess that's Madao dead over there on the ground being stepped on by little Tama. <laughs> Adorable. Where's Jugem? Anyway. So. Oh, look, there's another color page with all, like, so many characters on it. There's a big Just Away. Hopefully we get some good Just Away action in the finale. Hedoro's not an Ava anymore, so good for him. Is that the girl who was the, the ring GPS girl? Is that her in the background? Holy shit. It has been a while that's cool even a little one-off character like her who else is in here that's that's neat interesting there's bonsai even though he's dead we got some dead characters in here okay okay neat so this is them leaving otose's you sure added a lot of employees in the short time since i last saw you but actually maybe that with all these people working together that wish can come true no matter what his wish, no matter what you Yorazuya's wish is, take this. So that's when they got their outfits, and we got a we got a bunch of fire, we got a bunch of uh, bullets getting shot. There are followers of the religion here too. This is sacred ground where God will soon have his second coming. Eliminate all those besides us Saboists. My oh my! And then there's Jirocho and his daughter. What an unrefined bunch. You know, the tastiest booze is the type you drink with people who feel and believe different things. That booze you have. Your da that booze you have your daughter get for you that that you have your daughter get for you when you're taking it easy in retirement. Pops, look like those guys are getting there first. There's no mistake. Right after Yakuza is the jack of all trades. Not much has changed in all these years, has it? Sliced them all down. 
Looks like my dream of a relaxing retirement still a ways off. Let's go, you bastards. Big fight, big fight. Who are these guys? This group? Who in the world? We're a Yorozuya. Looking good. Hell yeah. Kicking ass. Get going. We'll safeguard the place for you guys to come home to. So go tell that guy to come home. Ginsan, are you watching? Since then, we may not have been able to take a single step forward, but... Sukuyo and Sachan are in danger, but they just got saved from behind. Nobume and Hattori. All of them are, were waiting here for us. Yo, looks like I picked the perfect time to come back to Edo again, huh? Seems that we were not the only ones with an itch to scratch. Zenzo-san, Nobume-san, Kagura-chan, we'll open a path. There's Soyo. This time we're going to pay you back for what you did for us those two years ago, together. They all came back there. I may have been busted out by Katsura last time, but now this old man's got his day. We're going to teach these terrorists just who it is that protects Edo. Well, it sure ain't you, Tatsan. We finally got Edo back up and running. Are you trying to blow it up now? If the time comes, we'll rebuild like we did before. Oh, God damn it! You already had to rebuild so much. So there's n no need to hold back now, Shinsengumi. It looks like this is just how it's got to be. They didn't forget, none of them, about those days, about you. There's a bunch of heavy fire, a bunch of explosions. Shinpachi and Kagura are down on the ground. Then we get some stuff crashing into the ships. Eh, there's some more Yato. Yep, Umibozu and Kamui. So you showed too, eh? I see that odd form. So you taught her some weird techniques too, huh? Cool. So unless you make yourself out to look like a kid, you can't save one little sister? What a difficult kid. So we're going to take a step forward with everyone. Can you see that? All over Edo, people are standing up and doing battle. Even after Madao has perished and after those beings indecent for public broadcasts perished, Edo is still alive. What is that? People of Edo, is my voice reaching you? Embrya Palace. Oh, okay, it's a talk show reference. I'm everyone's idol, Terracado Sue. Oh, hey, there she is. And I'm going to fight together with all of you. All I can do is sing and try to encourage you, but if that becomes even a tiny bit of help, if there's anyone at all that my singing makes stronger, that's who I'm standing here for, Nuki's testicles. It's okay, Otsuchan. I know there's at least one person's heart I'm sure you'll reach. Back then, those words I couldn't say, those thoughts I couldn't get across, I'm going to hold them all up and move forward. And go straight to you, Ginsan. This song goes out to all the samurai out there fighting on this planet. I hope you'll listen. Prince of Tennis sure is good. It's my everything. <laughs> what the fuck? Why is that your song? She just started singing the Prince of Tennis is good? Is it? I don't know. But <laughs> but it's uh, it kind of kills the tone, don't you think? No matter what trying things happen, it'll be okay. So try again and we'll out all this down on a new page and keep going. This is an actual song put out by the mangaka of the jump manga, The Prince of Tennis. What the fuck? And the, the translator decided to be a little bit cute, and they said, the bad jump manga. Okay, asshole. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably not bad. It's very popular. Because of a great adventure is waiting. Even if they call me a flashy mangaka, I'm always just facing a desk. <laughs> and so both happy news and sad things. Wait, so the Prince of Tennis author wrote a song that says Prince of Tennis is good? Okay. So both happy news and sad things are always passing me by. I want to see your smiling face. I want to hear your angry voice. There's nothing to worry about. Now draw. Stand up and push forward. I'll make this statement here and now. Prince of Tennis sure is good. No, it's not good at all. Maybe that's why the translator said that. I don't know. Because this isn't the last chapter of goddamn Prince of Tennis. Why in the blue hell is this Prince of Tennis song going on page after page? I don't know. To be precise, it's a wonderful song Konomi Sensei is singing from the heart out to all of the readers of the Prince of Tennis. That's right, that's fine, but this is not Prince of Tennis. Nobody in their right mind would listen to something like that. And what the hell happened to the song going out to all the samurai? Hey, hey, samurai heart. Gentoki, it seems that somehow we made it. The thing we've been after is right over there. 
It's likely that all sorts of difficulties will befall us from here. But I think that what we should be most afraid of right now is that we don't have enough pages left. <laughs> I know, right? Because we spent all that time fooling around. We're way too low on pages. In order to conclude the story in the remaining number of pages, our only choice is to let that song keep going on in the background and fool them into thinking this is the last chapter of The Prince of Tennis. No, seriously, why is it a Prince of Tennis song? There's nobody but Konomi Sensei that can pull off a crazy technique like that. Didn't I tell you there was no way we could end the story in just five more chapters? Those bastards on that zip show, they had to make it into big news and now we can't take it back. Okay, I'm not hanging around for this. Wait, Gintoki, Takasugi, what are you gonna do? Just how in the world are you gonna wrap things up with just one more page? Is it even possible? Forget ending, we haven't even gotten started yet. Gintoki. Oh, I get it. One of those our battle has only just begun endings, huh? I get you. Some final chapter can't stop us. We'll keep going to the place beyond the end. That's right. Our battle starts in Jump Giga! So then it switched over from Jump to Jump Giga. There's a little note by Sorachi at the end here. And I guess those final chapters are the ones adapted by the movie. So, fantastic. So that's funny. Um, little extra Madao stuff, Prince Hata and Jisan, a little bit of other side characters. The Katsura stuff and his interactions with Gintoki and Takasugi were really the most important. And then at the end here, we got some really funny stuff with Prince of Tennis, um, of all things. So yeah, um, the Katsura stuff is definitely the most interesting. I wish they'd been able to include that, but now we're all caught up and I'm gonna watch the movie sometime. So thanks for being here. Uh, I hope this was entertaining in some way. I just kind of read for a while. How long have I been here? I don't... 50 minutes? What the fuck? If you listen to this whole thing, you shouldn't have. It was a waste of your time. <laughs> Thank you for watching.